بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, stars in the name of god the almighty my name is muhammad nur abdullah i am from united states of america and i am the vice chairman of the fiqh council of north america which is the legal body for muslims in north america me as an imam i do counseling part of my training and sometimes i see that there is a conflict between two person husband wife or child and parents and after counseling them work through these things and it it changed them 100% and i feel good to see that the technique for forgiveness is time for tradition is first of all to remember that as human being we are imperfect so i have shortcoming you have shortcomings two is that i love to be forgiven by almighty god and i pray for that actually one of our prayer that we do every day every day every morning and evening we say oh god almighty forgive me the sins that i know the one i don't know the one i did intentionally the one i did without intention those which i know and those which i don't know and you know so in this sense when you have that kind of training remind yourself every day then with my fellow human being i should practice the same thing because i know they have shortcoming i have shortcoming i go through that test like anyone else when i forgive someone it benefits me first because it is my heart my chest my mind because by forgiving then i'm erasing that pain from my mind from my heart so it helped me first for the second person it might help him if he if he admit if he apologize if he recognize that he did hurt it will help him also because then i did wrong i should not do it again one of almighty god's attribute is al adl al muqsid the one who is just and muqsid who make fair okay as human being we should be fair to each other and definitely the one who have been oppressed he deserve justice she deserve that justice that's what i say that justice is a, a collective responsibility it is a social responsibility it is a community responsibility it is we as human being we should see the one who have been wronged and to comfort him and to deliver justice to him i know one day i'll get justice because i believe that every human being will come in front of god so if i see no justice in this world i'm not desperate I'm not hopeless. I always I hope one day I will receive it. So that make it easy for me. Sometimes a conflict happen in the community between groups or in nation like in South Africa between blacks and whites. It was going for years. That example where Mandela and Bishop Desmond Tutu came together and did reconciliation I think this is an ideal example how forgiving and forgetting help the nation.